Tom. And you're watching a Tom Origins video. Oh my god, that's hot! I need more milk in my tea, thank you! Anyway guys, my name's Tom and you're watching my video. Thank you. Really, it does help. It does help. Thank you very much. My Red Dead Redemption video is out, so if you've not seen that, please mosey on over. See what I did there? Western words. Mm-hmm. Mosey on over and go give that video a watch. I'm gonna keep this nice, short, and simple. The reason I'm here is because I'm having a conversation with you guys about what the frick is happening with my accent. So, pretty much, there we go, that's back to normal. Pretty much, this Saturday, October 6th, a lot of cool things are happening. It's 20 days until my best friend's birthday. It's also 20 days till Red Dead 2 comes out. Hurry up, Red Dead 2! Come out, Rockstar! Release your game, now! 6th of October, there's a few things happening. I'm going down to Hull University with my girlfriend Helen and her parents and my mum. And we're going to go and have a little look around there and see if that's the university we want to go to. We've had a look at a few. Huddersfield and Loughborough are looking like two pretty strong contenders. And talking about strong contenders... ...versus Khabib live on BTV2 Sports. BTV2? BT, BT2? BT... I don't know. Watching UFC live, the Connor versus Khabib fight, which is going to be amazing. Now, disclaimer. I'm not the world's biggest UFC fan. I don't know every fighter's name. I don't know all of their stats. And before you start going, he's a McGregor fanboy. Yes. Yes, I am. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. Connor, Mystic Mac, McGregor from Dublin Island, the champion, the double champ, the champ that does what the f he wants, wears two belts on his shoulder, rocking Gucci Mink champ, is going to beat Khabib. <laughs> What's Khabib? What's Khabib, you ask? Is it a foot infection? Is it a sexual disease? Is it a rash that you've got on your lower back? Could be all three of those things, but it's probably not. We're talking about Khabib! I can't say his last name. Khabib has a pretty funny... <laughs> Khabib has a pretty funny name, as we can all say. He's from Russia. The only two things I like about Khabib is that he's a Russian Muslim. That, that's literally the only two things. He's Russian and he's a Muslim. I like, you know, the right to have any religion you want, as long as you don't hurt anyone. And he's from Russia. So they're pretty badass people. So, Connor, the crazy Irish king, versus Khabib of Russia, and we're going to have a fight. It's going to be bloody. It's going to be big. It's going to be good. It's going to be awesome. How the hell did these get on these aren't even UFC clubs. What am I doing with my life? Ah. <laughs> Talking to you guys about my opinion on Connor vs. Khabib. Now, much like my Red Dead video, because we all loved my special effects that I did, I'm going to be doing something similar where I commentate over some footage, so I'm going to leave this section of the video to be quite short. Too much, I think Connor's going to win. One, I'm a fan by Connor. Two, has fought against much tougher bastards than Khabib has. Khabib's fighters, I don't even know the name of. And I've asked a few UFC fans, and not even them really know their proper names. They're not big people in the UFC, Khabib's fighters. Really? There's not a lot of people that Khabib can show off against. Connor has fought the likes of Nate Diaz, who's a really tall, lanky, scary guy. Uh, I Jose Aldo, uh, Chad Mendez, and some bald guy who I can't remember. Andy Alderez. Yeah, El Alderez. I don't know how to say his name. And, and Max Holloway. He's fought against some proper contenders who are big boys in the game and can actually fight for shit. And they're worth a damn in the UFC. And Connor has whooped their ass every single time. Well, apart from Nate Diaz where he lost the first time, but he came back and he won the second time. So Khabib versus Connor is going to be an amazing fight. Why? Because Khabib is an awesomely known wrestler. He's a different style fight to what Connor's used to. So yes, there's going to be a clash in the style. There's going to be a clash in the way that they move and the way that they bounce off each other. Connor, much like myself, is a left-handed guy, left-handed fighter. He's going to knock people out with that left-hand shotgun punch he's got. I'll talk more about that over the footage that I'm going to add in in a minute. But just to keep this section short, I believe tonight, on October 6th, Connor versus Khabib, Connor McGregor will leave the octagon with his hand held high and his head held high, and probably his two bottles of whiskey held high, saying that he's the champ champ and he's back to kill in the UFC. Because he's a badass, and he will win. I know he will. I'm watching it live with Helen at my house. I really hope he wins. It's going to be on my TV. I can't wait to do it. Going to do a reaction whilst it's going on. Different rounds to give my opinion. Also going to order a Domino's pizza and actually enjoy the fight like a real person does. So yeah, I can't wait for t Saturday night to watch the fight, and it's going to be amazing. Let's cut over to the footage, just for me to give a little bit more of an in-depth reaction of what I'm actually on about when I say Connor's going to beat Khabib. And this 
is going to be hell. So yeah, enjoy the footage. Sounding all official whilst drinking some tea. Yeah, you're gonna hear my computer go doo, 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 quite a lot, so I'm, I apologize about that. But I'm gonna be reviewing Conor McGregor and Khabib stuff, and just telling you why I think Conor McGregor is gonna whoop this Russian's ass. Conor is the only UFC champion to ever have two belts. He's also a warrior at psychological warfare. He stunts himself well. He presents himself well. He talks the talk and walks the walk better than KSI did against Logan Paul. But we're gonna do that a different time. He's a machine, like, he makes me embarrassed to take my top off. I mean, look at this psycho. He is a master in his craft. And he will definitely destroy people that go against him. He has done in the past. He didn't look too good there when he was a bit too skinny and his nose looked a bit too big for his face. Khabib's always been a wrestler where Connor is a kick specialist, left-hand cannon firing psychopath when he gets into that octagon he's a changed man outside he wears the dapper suits rocks the double belts talks the talk but in that cage he switches off and he goes into psycho mode and mcgregor has no shit mcgregor takes no crap he punches and kills and kicks and he destroys and he will destroy in tonight's fight well not tonight it's on saturday night's fight he is an absolute warrior the way and power that he has with his legs his arms his mobility even the training he does in a minute when you see him just snaking along the floor. Like, that would scare the shit out of me. My ex-girlfriend did that along the floor towards me. That'd be terrifying. But, um, this guy is an absolute beast. He's a warrior. He's got confidence out to this blooming stars in the sky. He is just a beast in his own right. He's got the power, the performance about him. And he is a warrior in his own right. He will be the king of the UFC, leave an impact when he retires. will lose a fighter that is so amazing. A bit like George St. Pierre, but Connor is just an individual, unique specialist who is just a warrior in that cage. And when he gets in with Khabib, Khabib, there he is, punching, he's got the big fluffy head. He's walking in, doing the fighting, doing the wrestling. A lot of Khabib's fights are on the ground. If they're not on the ground, then it's not very good for Khabib. Khabib's not a stand up guy where Connor is. And I know that Connor has been training his ass off because I watched the videos on the Matt Clive YouTube channel. Love you guys. Um,. I've been watching them, and Connor is just a beast, and and he has got the best camp, the best team, the best people, the best wife, you know, you know, by my wife Helen, by the way, you know, Helen, love you. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> wrapping the hands of Connor McGregor, and he's just an absolute confidence machine. And some people think that's ignorance, but really it's not. He's had some losses, and he's learnt from them. And he came back after getting getting beaten by Nate Diaz, tapping out for Nate Diaz, and he came back like a warrior and. You know, even against Blooming Floyd Mayweather, a boxer of years, they're still surprised by Connor's performance in there. So he is just so confident, so flawless in his way that he works and moves and just flows as a fighter. He will perform at the top peak on Saturday night and it will be a warrior match. It'll be a dog eat dog, monster versus monster, Khabib the bear versus Connor the lion, and he will just have a fight of his life. It's going to be amazing. Jose Aldo's defeat against Connor. Uh, just everything about this man. He believes himself. He's confident with his legs moves. He's confident with himself. He, he can hold himself well. Khabib looks too relaxed, too calm, too reserved. But maybe that's just a mental thing. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Just think Connor looks like he's the most confident guy. And sometimes when you're in situations like that and you're the most confident person in the room, there's nothing on hell that could stop you. So this is going to be an amazing fight, without a doubt. And I'm going to be watching it, sharing my reactions with you guys. And I'll see you all very soon. Oh, <laughs>